You're listening to SMUB's Campus Radio. Say what you want to say. I'm Isa, and this is Siri. And today, we're going to be talking about phases one and two of Singapore's reopening. As you can recall, Singapore um, went into phase one during June 2 to June 18. And during this time, essential businesses were allowed to open and some other, some other things like schools were allowed to start opening again and letting kids back in. However, on June 15, they announced that we would be moving into phase two from June 19 onwards. Most schools and retail businesses would be allowed to reopen and dining in at restaurants was finally allowed again. Groups of less than five people could finally meet up again which is a good thing unless you're a group of six people. <laughs> so Siri, what were you doing during phase one? Uh, well, honestly for me, right, phase one didn't feel any different from circuit breaker. So I pretty much was doing like the exact same thing, which is like watching bad movies and making bad purchases online, like feeling my online shopping addiction. So what were some of the things you were buying and watching? Okay, so like for what I was watching, right, I like to watch like super super bad movies. So have you heard of Sharknado? It's like where it's a tornado that like picks up sharks and then the sharks go on land and kill people. Like it sounds very ridiculous, right? But because I don't really like to use my brain when I watch shows, so I like to watch things that like really you can just watch and laugh. At. It it is dumb, right? Like honestly, but I think you should watch it because it's just so dumb that it's kind of fun. Because there's someone like he attacked the sharks with chainsaw, so it's like, what? <laughs> so other than just watching like terrible movies, right? I've also made some like pretty bad like financial decisions. So because I'm stuck at home and like with nothing to do, right? I keep going online and seeing. Then some things that look interesting, I just buy. But after that, I end up. I think we can all relate to that, <laughs> right? So do you do any like online buying also during this time? <laughs> Yes, I did. I actually bought a lot of things from Shopee, like a lot of small stuff. Yeah. But how about you? What did you buy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, so I can showcase some of my worst purchases so mm-hmm. far. So, like, one of the stupidest things that I bought was, like, a wax stamp. Like, you know, like, last time when people send letters, they seal it with the wax stamps. <laughs> like, I just always wanted one of those. I mean, that's why I bought it, because it looked cute online. But the problem is that mm-hmm. nobody sends letters. So... Anymore. <laughs> my stamping. Do you have the stamp set with you? Yes, Can I see I it? Do. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so I bought it for more like yes. I bought it in like a set. Because like, you know, I thought then I can start everything together. So it came with like even the candle and like the tiny waxes. Wow. Yeah, it looks cute, right? It's so but I, cute. I used one. Like one. That I never used already. Wow. Who did you send the latte to? I didn't, I just chop on the paper oh. and the paper is still in my house. <laughs> well, since everyone's at home, I think you could start sending letters again. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can start like asking everybody for their address. Then instead of texting them, I just write my letter, wax them and mail to them. <laughs> and then they'll just get it two weeks later. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it's okay, time time is a social construct during exactly, COVID. Right? And then somehow mm-hmm. like, another really dumb thing that I did was because Basically, before COVID, right, like, none of us expected this. So, I thought that I would have been travelling a lot with my friends. So, I bought, like, a travel makeup kit, which is like, <laughs> double bad because I'm at home, I'm going to use makeup, and then two, I'm not travelling anymore. So, it was, like, a complete waste of money. I don't know what to do. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I can relate. I really was looking forward to travelling. My family and I were supposed to go to Japan in May. Oh. And I was looking forward to that during the entire SEM 2. Yeah. And then halfway through <laughs> when COVID happened, yeah, I realised I couldn't go. But honestly, until the very end, I think part of me was thinking that there would suddenly be a vaccine in April and I would be able to go. But that, that didn't happen. Exactly. Because I also was planning to go to China and Korea like during this whole summer break, right? Mm-hmm. Now I was looking forward to it. Like, my motivation for the whole semester. But then suddenly... <laughs> <laughs> but well, it's better to stay safe. Honestly, I think since I haven't been able to travel, that's one of the reasons I've been watching so many YouTubers. Uh-huh. Because I'm living through their travels <laughs> back when they were still traveling. So other than like staying at home, right? Do you go outside and do anything during phase one? I tried my best to stay at home because you know it was still it was still right after circuit breaker. 
but I would try to go out a little bit more and take photos. I started to revive my photography account again. So I was trying to update that. I think I was really inspired by a lot of YouTubers. Um, there's this one YouTuber I follow who does just iPhone photography. His name's Andy Toh. And he's really good. Like all of his videos are just taken on iPhones. And I'm and I'm here, like, what am I doing with my iPhone? <laughs> So he does all the, a lot of like really cool stuff. So then where in Singapore like do you what do you take pictures of and where do you go? Oh okay. Um so usually I would stay I would take pictures sometimes inside. So I used to stay at um Princep Street Residences, which is um at a news hostel. So sometimes I would take photos of other people in my apartment and I would ask them to model for me just so I could get some practice. <laughs> oh model for you. I thought you just took their pictures like when they're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, hello, hello, PDP. <laughs> so mm-hmm. now that things are like kind of reopening in phase two, what were you looking forward to and stuff like in phase one? Because you know you're stuck at home. Then finally, when they announced, like, what do you feel? What, what I was looking forward to was being able to go out and eat again with my friends. You know, I don't think I realized how much I missed it until it was just me eating. <laughs> by myself in my room. <laughs> oh no! I, I also really miss bubble tea. I don't even like bubble tea, but just not being able to have it during circuit break made me crave it for some reason. I was really craving taro milk tea the whole time. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, no, but last time before like everything, right? Mm-hmm. I was very lazy to go out, like even after school. If people ask me, hey, let's go and eat, I just like, no, I'm going home. But then the minute they tell me that I cannot eat out, then I'm like, oh, I miss it so much. So. <laughs> Grass is greener, right? But yeah, grass is always greener on the other side. So, what was the what were you looking forward to eating during phase two? For me, also bubble tea actually. So, like, that's mm-hmm. my favorite brand, the Chicha Sachin. Uh, they have outlets like a lot in town and also one at Tampines. And because I stay in the east, mm-hmm. I usually go to the one in Tampines. So, when they announced phase two, right, uh, I was really very excited to go and drink the bubble tea with my friends again. So, we made like the date. Like four of us wanted to go and buy together like on the first day of reopening and we still thought that we were like oh we're gonna get it for sure because we wanted to go like just when they open but then when we went there like, <laughs> and there was like 40 people in the queue and then someone right it's not like they buy one cup but it's like they buy for the whole family so yeah <laughs> Telling us like, oh, no. gotta make the most of that trip. Yeah, so the staff was like, oh, I think y'all should like maybe come back later and stuff, cause it'll take quite long. So it was like really very sad. Then we had to go and and all the bubble teas were queuing like that. So basically, oh, we no. ended up just like going to NQC and buying coke because there's nothing better to do. <laughs> oh yeah, during phase this was during phase one though. But one time I went with my friend to um Golden Mile Complex. And I really wanted to try this clay pot rice because I read all the food bloggers talking about it. And there was no one there because it was like a Monday night. So I was like, okay, we can probably get it. But when I went there and asked, they were like, it's a two hour wait. Two hours? Two hours? So I was like, I'm not gonna I don't know. I don't because even like know. A lot of deliveries. I think it was all the deliveries, but they told me it was like a two hour wait. Are you willing to wait? And I was like, no, I'm not. Two hours? It's yeah, crazy. During, during phase one, because I live like near malls, but so like when I go mm-hmm. to, like buy food sometimes, I see so many of those like people with the delivery bag, mm-hmm. more than like uh, ordinary, yeah. like people buying for their for, for themselves. So mm-hmm. maybe that's where your two hour wait came from. And that probably is. I swear, all the delivery men and women have carried the economy during this yeah, time. Yeah, really. Grab and Food Panda is carrying the economy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think without them I may have like stuff because I don't know how to cook. So I would oh, no. have like plain bread and white rice for three months. <laughs> Did you pick up any cooking skills during this time? No. I okay I tried, but like it's really very hard. I tried to boil an egg and the egg just like exploded on me. <laughs> Oh no! Like, turns out you cannot put like the cold egg into boiling water. <laughs> so that's yes. that's some new information for you. <laughs> Every day you learn something. <laughs> yeah, but so mm-hmm. that, that that ended it. I didn't want to learn after that. Honestly, right? I thought that by now things would have been back to normal. Like when when it was just announced that we'll go online last time, 
I thought that by this sem and like everything will be okay and be back to normal, but like obviously it's not, right? So like how do you think it's gonna be like? Um I honestly don't know how I feel about online classes. I'm a bit nervous. I'm not how sure how it will work, especially since um for me I'm overseas right now and all my classes are online. But I understand that the school has to do it because it's for safety and you know these are very uncertain times. Yeah. But I still I still don't know how I feel. <laughs> how about you? I mean, okay, for me, right, I also understand that it's like really necessary for the school to do this. I was quite surprised when I heard about the way that they're going to conduct the like hybrid classes. So, at first when I heard that they'll be splitting like the odd and even metric numbers, right? I thought it was a joke. <laughs> like I really <laughs> thought I really thought my friends were like lying to me because I'm I'm very gullible. Lah. So, I'm usually the butt of this kind of like joke. So when they said it, I was like, ah, yeah, oh, yeah, no. <laughs> but then, <laughs> but then like later on when I asked other people and I found out that it's real, then I was super sad because my nature number is even. But all the friends that I oh, I'm I'm odd. odd. Yeah, you see, mm. even you're odd also. So it's like, end up right. I spend like mm-hmm. so much like the e money and stuff bidding for classes together. Mm-hmm. With them. But I'm not gonna mm-hmm. see them. So oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can all, you can always just continue to have Zoom parties. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like really kind of sad. Like if I had known like this like mm-hmm. earlier, which is my own fault. Like, I never read emails. But then if I had it <laughs> earlier, I would have just bid for like a cheaper class. Cause like the classes I bid to be my friends, right, are like afternoon ones, so it's a bit more expensive. So alone, like I wouldn't really mind like morning class like, to save some money. <laughs> Okay, so basically, after staying at home for so many months, like my body clock is super like messed up. Like, I end up like, Same, my body clock is right. super like, messed I up. I sleep at like, oh my god. Okay, I was mine is just I end up sleeping at two a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not six a.m. My body clock was screwed up to begin with, so like this whole thing like made it even worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so to prepare for school, I've been like trying to force myself to sleep like. 10 minutes earlier, 10 minutes earlier every day so that when school starts, I won't suddenly be so overwhelmed. And also mm-hmm. because like, I think that with, when classes are online, right, you have to be like a bit more responsible with your work. So I got a planner and I'm hoping to like make sure that I keep myself like on track so that I don't like think that I still got very long, still got very long. But then and I'm like, oh no, exam is next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I just saw a meme about that this morning and I was like, oh no, this is literally me. <laughs> Like that, that yeah. happened to me before, like in previous sems, even though I was in school. So I think that I should really like take care this time. <laughs> then what about you? Yeah. What, what have you been doing to prepare yourself? Um, to prepare myself, like I've been trying to take some online classes and I've been trying to I've been trying to keep my mind in shape because I think that I really only have two brain cells left after <laughs> Circuit Breaker and Phase 1 and 2. I've been looking online for some good apps that I can use because I'm the kind of person who likes to have a lot of like productivity apps on her phone and things like that. So one that I really like is Notion. So it's really good for taking notes or just like making to do this to schedule your day because it's really clean and super minimalist. I know some friends who use an app called Todoist if they want to keep track of their to-do list. I've also been using um, this plugin called Toby which is good if you're like me and you have like 600 tabs running in the background. It's yeah. just so much easier to save them oh. with Toby because everything just saves automatically. Oh, mm-hmm. well, that's really quite so I guess that will be good for. I guess that will be good for online classes, yeah. especially when you're opening so many right. tabs. Mm-hmm. I always open like so many, so many, so many. Then sometimes my computer just like crashes and everything is gone. <laughs> One thing I do need to find though is I need to find a better screen recorder that works for Mac. Because if you use Mac screen recorder, it only it only records the screen but no audio. Which I found out the hard way after I recorded one of my lectures last semester and then I played it after class and there was no sound. You, you can take another class on lip reading. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I should take a class on lip reading. <laughs> Those apps are really interesting. Are they free? Yeah, most of those apps are free for either Apple or Android. You should check them out right now. Okay. I think I really need to go and download some of them now. So, I hope that 
like what we shared today has helped you or at least just given you like some entertainment. And with that, we've come to the end of today's podcast. Thank you for tuning in to our phase one and two special. Uh, if you have any thoughts or stories that you want to leave, you can leave it in the comments below. Uh, and with that, again, I'm Siri. This is Isa. And you're listening to SMUB Campus Radio. Say what you want to say. Bye. Bye.